You are watching the Randy and Krista show. I'm Krista Arecchio. Randy Alvarez is out today. We have Dr. Brian Mole coming on the show. He's a certified functional medicine practitioner and a diabetes educator. Now, diabetes is something that is really an epidemic. It's overtaking our country. And I guarantee that as you watch this, you know at least three to five people that have diabetes or are trending that way, which is why I wanted to bring Brian on to really talk about this and give some ways that we can start to prevent and reverse diabetes because that is absolutely Absolutely possible. So, Brian, welcome to the Randy and Krista show. Thanks, Krista. It's great to be here with you today. I'm excited to have you here and everything that you're up to. Um, tell us, let's just start really simple. What is type 2 diabetes? Just define that for us. What's happening in the body when we get that diagnosis? Sure, that's a great question, and uh, it's an important question because a lot of people, I think, have a misconception about what diabetes is. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to frame it, type 1 diabetes is where the pancreas has typically been damaged and is no longer functioning properly, so it doesn't produce the hormone insulin, which helps to regulate blood sugar. And those folks, unfortunately, are insulin dependent for their entire lives. Now, type 2 diabetes is a completely different disorder, and I call it a, dis a disorder rather than a disease because it's something that forms over time. Most people who are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes have been developing diabetes for decades. And what happens essentially is it's a loss of the body of sugar, as opposed to what most people think of as just high blood sugar. The word diabetes literally means to pass urine through, I'm sorry, to pass sugar through the urine. Uh, that's where it gets its name, diabetes mellitus. But um, it's looked at today mostly as a condition of high blood sugar. It's really blood sugar dysregulation. Mm -hmm. So the body, um, in all its uh, organ function and hormone balance, has lost the ability somehow to keep tight control over the blood sugar levels. And there's a lot of reasons for that and causes for that, which we can get into today. But when you have type 2 diabetes, you can no longer control your blood sugar, almost like you, you lost control of your body temperature, and it just keeps spiking without you being able to keep it in a tight range. And that creates a pretty unsafe environment within the body, right, um, to, to have imbalanced blood sugar. It's, it creates imbalanced moods and energy levels and, and ways of thinking. You know, you get mental, mentally foggy. Wouldn't you say those are the kind of main symptoms? Exactly. Unfortunately, what happens is you have this strange situation where you have sugar building up outside of our cells and it really needs to be inside of our body cells so that we can convert it into fuel or into energy. So you have this sugar building outside the cell because uh, the doorway is blocked, so to speak. It can't get into the cell. So your cells are starved uh, of glucose. They can't burn sugar for energy, so you're fatigued and you don't feel very good. And then the sugar building up outside of the cell uh, almost caramelizes the body. It actually causes something called glycation or advanced uh, glycated end products, AGEs. And that's an interesting mnemonic because uh, the word age is exactly what it does to our body. It ages us. So it causes age spots. It causes uh, our skin to uh, become unhealthy. It leads to kidney disease and ultimately kidney failure heart attack, stroke, uh, cardiovascular disease, that can lead to blindness and amputation. So it can be very, very serious if uncontrolled. Absolutely. And as a functional medicine practitioner, I imagine you routinely are seeing the reversal of diabetes, that people are experiencing these symptoms. They don't have to. They can reverse it, right? Tell us about you that. You know, that's exactly right. And I think that's uh, one of the messages that we're trying to get across. And again, this is true for type 2 diabetes, uh, not necessarily type 1 diabetes, but also uh, a condition called prediabetes and metabolic syndrome, where there's some overweight and high cholesterol and blood pressure and so forth as well. But diabetes can absolutely be reversed if you take the right steps and make the right life changes. Sometimes that involves losing weight but not always. And many times it involves drastically changing the diet, getting moving again, uh, physical activity, 
uh, actually sleeping better, handling stress, dealing with things like toxicity mm -hmm. and doing some detoxification. So there's a lot that can be done, but ultimately the message is if you're willing to take action, this is not uh, your final destiny. Things can be turned around and you can actually save your own life. Absolutely. That is that. This is news that makes you healthier. The Randy and Krista show, and that's what we want to share with our viewers. That if you have diabetes or you're trending that way, you can absolutely reverse it. But what about the the lab markers? And what do you suggest? We're, we all are a nation that consumes too much sugar, so we really are all at risk for this. Sh how should we test? And do you recommend getting tested once a year? How often do you check your blood sugar? Yeah, you know, the standard of care for diabetes management is to see your doctor about four times a year and get an annual physical once a year uh, with some good labs, uh, things like a metabolic panel, a lipid panel, a hemoglobin A1C reading, which is a, a more stable, about a three to four month average uh, way of analyzing blood sugar. But to me, those are very basic. They're important to do, but they don't really tell us why the person's become insulin resistant and ultimately diabetic. So we want to go further than that, look at things like hormones such as insulin and pro-insulin. Uh, there's hormones released by the fat cells like uh, adiponectin and leptin. Uh, thyroid hormone is important, sex hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. There's inflammatory cytokines that we can test. Uh, you know, the list goes on and on, advanced yeah. lipid markers, which can really tell us more about cardiovascular risk. The point is, it has to be customized medicine is where it's at. So if we can customize the lab test, get the information, and then we can actually create a uh, plan of action that's going to help per put that person on the path to healing instead of the path to disease and degeneration. Yes, that's what we're here to do. And so, so we start off simple. We check hemoglobin A1C, we check blood glucose levels, any MD, anywhere, your primary care physician can do that. And then maybe, I guess, find a functional medicine practitioner to go deeper. I wish Randy was here because you mentioned leptin and testosterone. He loves talking about those, the interaction of those two. We'll have to do another show and talk about that. But so if you find out you have diabetes, give me your, your top three go-tos food-wise. If people say eat real food, people watching, if they don't know what that means, what should they do? What are the top three most important things food-wise? Well, it, it almost sounds obvious, but the most important thing is to stop stop eating sugar, uh, to drastically reduce it, actually non-fiber carbohydrates, starches and sugars, get uh, broken down into sugar in the body. And as my good friend Ron Rosedale says, you don't want to feed a diabetic sugar. It's not a good idea. So right. we have to cut the sugar down, um, and, and sometimes fairly dramatically. That doesn't mean forever, but oftentimes in the beginning, we'll make some fairly dramatic changes, and we can do a little bit of a sugar detox for uh, a few weeks or even a few months to start to change that. Um, Secondly, I think it's important to nourish the body. So uh, make sure you're eating good quality, low glycemic fruits and vegetables. Uh, those are going to give your body the nutrition for healing. A lot of people with diabetes develop neuropathy, which is a nerve and circulation disorder that leads to paint, for example, or legs. And oftentimes those are related to nutritional deficiencies like B vitamins. Uh, the mitochondria in the cells thrive on these core nutrients. So we want to nourish the body with real food, whole foods. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I would say it's important to add fiber. Uh, fiber uh, in the form of uh, certain carbohydrate foods or even supplemented can be really helpful to buffer the glycemic response. So when you eat a meal, it doesn't spike your blood sugar. It slows that down. What's your favorite type of fiber to use with your, with your patients? Well, I like food-based fiber. So for me, it's fibrous vegetables and nuts and seeds. If, uh, if, they're, if they can tolerate some carbohydrates, we'll use certain types of uh, beans and legumes, like lentils, for example, that have some resistant starch. Uh, but some people can't tolerate even uh, that type. I think the fibrous vegetables are the key. 
Okay, fibrous vegetables. Now, I know you and I talked about this. We spent about an hour doing uh, a diabetes talk for an upcoming summit that you have, and, and I really was uh, really honored to be a part of that, and I'm so glad you're spreading this on, on the mainstream and getting the word out there. I know you have amazing, like just like the best experts, 20 or 30 or 40 people on the panel. Is that right? We actually have, we actually have over 50 now. It's amazing. We just keep adding people because I'm getting so many phone calls and it's wonderful. You know, I think the more people we can bring in, the different perspectives, the better. It's, it's been awesome. And uh, you, you were one of my best presentations. Oh. Uh, I think you're probably my favorite nutritionist and uh, I, I loved having you as part of the summit as well. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. We're, we're all a, a tribe of like-minded individuals, you know, striving for this common goal. And um, I love doing that talk, and I, I know I gave a lot of food-based ways that have worked in my practice to, to reverse diabetes, and I know you have an amazing lineup, and uh, our folks can sign up for that or learn more about it at the URL, the, the whole journey, beatdiabetes.com. Is that right? Whole the whole journey beat diabetes dot com. That's great. Okay. So yeah, and they're gonna. It, it's uh, it's you know, it's twelve days of uh, completely free information. There's fifty speakers, about four or five presentations every day. So we'd love to have them join us. And do you think someone could watch these presentations and take notes and take action right into their life and really be on the road to reversing diabetes and and have lab work return normal? That's your goal. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, that's the way it was designed is to uh, to be practical information. So, you know, we tried to extract the best secrets from all of our presenters so people could walk away with some really good practical information that they could, you know, start using right away. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. And before I let you go, I want to just, I have a question personally on type 1 diabetes because I haven't seen it much, but I'm curious, can you rebuild the pancreas? Can you reverse the damage if you, if you have a damaged pancreas? And have you seen that in your practice, reversing You know, it? that's a good question. Um, there is some uh, data that shows certain herbs, for example, um, certain nutrients can help to regenerate uh, beta cells. I think the beta cells are the cells in the pancreas that actually produce insulin. And I think that this is an area of uh, growing research. We need more information about it. Some of it has to do with the actual mechanism behind why someone became type 1 diabetic. Mm -hmm. For example, I have a, a good friend, a colleague, who is an insulin-dependent diabetic from an injury. He actually damaged his pancreas. Uh, most type 1 diabetic uh, cases are autoimmune in nature is um, unfortunately mostly know that the beta cells, once they're damaged, they're not going to come back. Uh, but there is some growing evidence that certain things can regenerate beta cells to a certain degree, to a certain percentage. What I will tell you for type 1 diabetes, though, is oftentimes it's looked at as there's just nothing that can be done. So they can just eat whatever they want and just take more insulin if they need it. And I think that's um, a bad way to look at it. Right. I think that um, if you really control your diet and lifestyle and even follow a lot of the same advice that we're giving for type 2 diabetics, they can really minimize their need for insulin, which is going to help their body to uh, stay healthier much longer. And I, I will say that I've had patients that go well into their 80s and even 90s as type 1 diabetics and never have any complications or problems from diabetes because they regulate their blood sugar well. I recently, uh, maybe, maybe a year ago, read a study that people who regulate their blood sugar on a daily basis are the, the only common thing that makes people live to 100 is regulated blood sugar. And that is the most important thing to prevent neurological disease and for, like you said, longevity. And so that's a really important part of eating to regulate blood sugar. Thank you so much, Brian. This is good Absolutely. Stuff. Now, if, how, and I know, you take, I know you take patients nationwide. Is that right? Yeah. So how can our viewers find you if, if they have diabetes and they want to work with you one-on-one? -on -one? Sure, we have a uh, we have a uh, a coaching program at a company called Sweet Life Diabetes Health Centers, okay. and they can go to sweetlifecenters.com. Uh, we have an extensive medical advisory board. We have dietitians and uh, registered nurses, diabetes.
these educators and physicians who collaborate together to create programs that help patients not just manage but reverse their type 2 diabetes through lifestyle intervention. Great. Awesome. So we'll have everyone check that out and we'll look forward to this summit. Together we are going to yeah. reverse diabetes. <laughs> as, you, as you like to say, Krista, let's go save some lives. Thank let's, you. Let's go <laughs> save some lives. Thanks for being here, Brian. Have a great day. You got it. You too. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Bye. So that was really interesting. If you have energy highs and lows where all of a sudden you feel mentally foggy at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m., you might have an imbalanced blood sugar. And this is a really personal topic for me because I guarantee that I would have diabetes right now had I not found the field of nutrition because I basically just existed off of sugar. And I would say this field absolutely saved my life so did B vitamins, which Brian talks about. So if you want to learn how to balance your blood sugar and how to reverse diabetes or really just to live a healthy life, join Brian's summit, thewholejourneybeatdiabetes.com. That's how you'll find it where you can find my hour-long presentation. I give you all the secrets from my practice. So every nutritional supplement you can take, dosages, foods you can eat, a diet plan, and it's really comprehensive. And that's what we're here to do. This is the Randy and Krista Show, news that makes you healthier. Thank you for being here, and I will see you next time.